Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've been working on a cool little project for the past few weeks and I wanted to share it with you. It is an ASCOM compatible automated telescope dust cover. Wait, what? Why in the world would I ever need something like this? Before I get into it, let me show you what it looks like. Alright, so now that you've seen it, uh, let me explain why I decided to make this project. There are two main reasons. The first one is because very often the targets that I image are high up in the sky pretty late at night. So this gives me two options. Either I have to stay up until the beginning of my imaging run, which can start at 1 a.m. and then uncover the scope at that time, or remove the cover several hours before and then go to bed. I'm not a fan of either solution, and I would much prefer if my telescope could automatically remove its cover on its own at the beginning of the sequence, whenever that happens to be. The second reason is because sometimes we get pretty dense fog here in the Bay Area, especially in the spring, and the fog is notoriously hard to predict. Last year, for example, I was imaging, and when I woke up in the morning, it was completely foggy, and the objective lens of my telescope was completely drenched in spite of using a, a dew heater. I had to thoroughly clean it, and I'm not a big fan of cleaning optics. It is very difficult and risky. And with an automated dust cover, the telescope could have at least theoretically protected itself from the elements all on its own. So these are the two reasons why I decided to build this project. So I wanted to enable other people to build their own DIY automated telescope dust cover. And to do this, I put all of the code necessary to build this project on GitHub. So if you're not familiar with GitHub, it is an online software development and collaboration platform. I will put a link to this repository in the description below. So the first thing that you'll see when you look at this repository is the readme file. It contains a lot of very important information if you wish to build this project on your own. So you will see that there are a lot of prerequisites, a lot of hardware to purchase, and uh, the electronic circuit itself is relatively simple, although cleanly soldering it can be a little bit of a challenge. But by far the most complicated part of this project is the, the mechanical parts. I included all of the 3D files that you'll need to make this project in the 3D files directory. It contains quite a few STL files. Don't actually use those. These are made specifically for my own equipment. What you will need to do is open the FreeCAD file. And this is what it looks like when you open it in FreeCAD. So you see here the, the model for the, the automated dust, dust cover. And when you click on Globals, you'll see a spreadsheet which contains all of the parameters of this model. The two values you will likely have to change are the outside diameter of your optical tube assembly and the thickness of your optical tube assembly. Once you've updated those, the model will update itself automatically and then you will be able to generate the STL files for each component of the project. And once you've um, exported those STL files, you will be able to import them in your slicer and then print them on your 3D printer. All right, so that is all I've got for today. Hopefully you find it useful. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, my name is Julian. Thank you for watching.